Today's a little pre-workout, beginning of a chest, shoulders, triceps, a little bit of everything, handstands, rowing. We'll see how we get through it. So we're going to be using the Ghost Pump. The nitric oxide is going to be a bit of a, a volume day as well, so this is going to probably go down fairly well. If you can read that here, some of the ingredient lists, I'll hold that there. Very interesting. It's 40 scoops with that one. 10 calories, quite low, not many carbohydrates, but it's that citrulline being fermented. Four grams is going to be fantastic, so we'll see how the workout goes. I'll do a bit of a filming. Hope you guys enjoy. Fantastic, so let's get into it. Beginning of the workout essentially is a little bit of stretching, uh, especially with around the handstands. What I'm trying to do here is just opening up my chest, getting the wrists to work well, hips to move around. Normally try to begin the session, especially these Saturday sort of weekend ones with mobility work, handstand work, get anything, everything open up, getting a bit of a sweat, wearing what is seen there as a long shirt, just a, as another form of, you know, warming up. This is me actually getting into a few uh, push, sort of white stance, hand, handstand presses, I guess you could call them. There are a little bit of, now today's session was going to be a bit of a chest, shoulders and triceps. This is working a bit of the shoulders, uh, some of those triceps, really sort of holding that position while getting me warmed up to actually do proper handstands. I tend to do around five sets of 10 reps of these. So this is the, the first set shown. What it just allows me to do is to get quickly through a few sort of handstand warm-ups, uh, mobility exercises, as you can see. You know, you tend to sort of need a bit of time to get into it, uh, especially now that I've been working out for around 12 years, you, you really need a bit of time to, you know, get yourself moving and getting into the, the workout. So normally with handstands, and I talked about it with other people, there's various ways to, to you know, to get better at it. Um, in proportion of you know where I've started from you normally want to begin with something like a wall or a box and then be progressively moving towards things like this now you'll see with my hand tents are much more of a banana back as they would term it this is not the correct form I would suggest for a lot of people but it's just the way that I've sort of gone around to it I'm not going for a perfect technique uh, well as of yet anyways there's other individuals who can do that better I also tend to go off the sort of from standing to a handstand position as opposed to the more feet on the ground and jumping through just find that it's a little bit easier for myself and allows me to control things a lot better probably something else to add into this is uh, handstand wise it's i think it's a fantastic way to just warm up for any session it allows your whole body to sort of get itself aligned uh, in terms of you know the movement your positioning uh, your wrists, your shoulders, it just sort of uh, works and everything, especially your core as well. Core is one big thing that hand tends, tends to interact with. This is probably one of the longer handstand holds of the session before we actually got into it. So the actual starting of a chest is a bench. What you will see here is a variation of volume that I like to undertake. It's a one plus, so one rest plus sort of session. In essence, what I'll try to do is eight reps, rest for a couple of seconds, and then pump out four reps. Started there with a couple of sets at 60. Uh, this will be the 100 kilos. So what you'll tend to see, hopefully I'll showcase it here, is I'll do the eight reps with 100. You lock it in, tend to sort of just let yourself go, stretch out the chest, uh, get a little bit of uh, push back in there, a bit of energy, and then get back into doing an extra four reps. So just shake it one, Two, three, oh, he's struggling now. Nah, easy. Puts it away. Four, very good. So I did that for a couple of sets before moving on to the 120. So 120, I believe. I Well, let's see. Let's go one. Yeah, that felt nice and slow. Two. Good, good. Oh, two reps. Don't actually remember how many I actually pumped out. Oh, sorry. That was the 140. My apologies. That was the 140 for two. Pause. And heading in for an extra one, I believe. So make it up to three. Uh, so that was 140 for two plus one reps. I tend to not arch my back too much on these ones. Uh, arching my arching your back is good for, I guess, ultimate uh, strength. But I, here I'm trying to get a lot more volume done. Then we move into uh, some sort of push pressing movements. Uh, again, using this sort of eight reps plus four uh, movements. So I've stuck to just 60 kilos for this one. 
really just burning out the shoulders. This is where I sort of got to start feeling the, the pre-workout quite a lot. The shoulders were absolutely pumped at this point. I'd barely even started doing any shoulder work. So it was quite good for getting the blood flow. Not so great for uh, the actual athletic performance of going beyond, beyond failure, I guess you could call it. Military Press for me has been a fantastic movement. Uh, if you don't actually actively do it, I would encourage it. Here we're getting into some handstand uh, push-ups. As you can see, I've got tiny little arms. Oh, it's not really tiny, but it allows them to, to do some handstand wall presses quite easily. So I do a couple of uh, reps there. Uh, but what do we think of the pre-workout ghost? The ghost. It was quite good. Uh, specifically, that pre-workout's gonna be great if you want a bit of a pump, as you would have seen in the workout. My workout today was much more towards an athletic slash acrobatic slash power sort of movements. So it was probably too much pump. The shoulders were quite pumped up and I was doing the shoulder presses and the handstands from the pre-workout. So if you're looking for something that is gonna be volumizing and gets a lot of blood into your muscles, I definitely recommend. Perhaps not so much on a strength slash acrobatic slash sporting type of endeavor. So I'd probably um, move away from using the pre-workout for that. The only other thing I was gonna say was fantastic taste. Um, fairly big scoop, uh, but that's all right. It, it dissolves quite easily in water. Wouldn't say anything else uh, in the pre-workout. Uh, if you wanna go and check it out, I'd probably go to Mac Fitness. Go and see if you can get yourself a couple of tubs, not just the one, get two, might as well while you're there. Um, you know. Get yourself a deal, uh, enjoy yourself. All right, that's it. That was the workout, that was the pre-workout, and that is done, one out.